Excel In-Depth Chapter 35, Picture Background Removal. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen, working through the Excel In-Depth book. Uh, one of the cool features they added to Excel 2010 is the Background Removal tool. It was there in 2007. It didn't work well at all. You had to choose one color. It, it uh, just didn't work. Uh, so, it works much better in Excel 2010. And there's one little tweak you have to do. Choose the picture, choose Remove Background from the uh, Picture Tools. And then the very first step that you need to do is you need to grab this bounding box and adjust the bounding box to truly the limits of what you're trying to uh, focus on. Uh, if you get that down to the limits, that really helps the tool find the correct pieces of the picture. So the dog's on a raft here. I want to make sure I include that raft. All right, so there we go. All right, so now that you've done that, they really come much closer. You only have a few areas to mark. Uh, so if there's some areas I want to remove, like we have sections of the pool that are showing up here, I will click those. There's one tiny area right there, and one tiny area right there. All right, looks good. Keep changes, and then we end up with just the picture of the dog and the raft, or whatever it is that you want to do. I can imagine all sorts of cover pages for reports now that uh, will have this. Now here's the here's the catch. If you want to put data or words next to the picture, when you go click on those cells, you're going to choose the picture instead. So you have to be pretty careful. You have to click outside the picture and then use the arrow keys to get in and you can actually uh, change this data in here, uh, but you can't directly select it with the mouse. It's just one of the downsides. So the picture background removal tool, nice improvement in Excel 2010. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.